Gone are the days when cars were simply meant to get you from point A to point B. Today's vehicles will read you the daily news. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers taping here at the North American International Auto Show. I'm joined today by Matt Rausch, the editor for the WWJ Technology Report. Thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thanks. I appreciate the opportunity. Before we talk about this incredible new technology where I can sit back and relax and have my uh, my free press read to me, uh, let's talk about what's really important in a vehicle and of course that's the powertrain and we always are hearing that uh, we're moving to electric cars, uh, hybrid cars cars, fuel cell cars, where are we headed? Are we headed anywhere at all away from that standard combustion engine? Well, the, the answer is we're headed towards an all of the above future. Uh, yes, there will still be the basic internal combustion engines because we're a long way from arresting all of the efficiency you could possibly get out of that engine. You'll see some of the smaller cars here are getting just phenomenal mileage on just plain old gasoline with 40 miles a gallon being the new 30 sort of. Uh, there are also various forms of hybrids. There are mild hybrids in which there are some batteries on the car that will take over at some points of the driving cycle, specifically uh, stop-start uh, motors, where if you come to a stop, if you're stuck in traffic, the gasoline engine will switch off and the car will run on battery power while it's not moving. Then there's the full hybrid where you have the gasoline engine and the batteries and the electric motors working together to propel the car, and then there's full electric. Uh, the, the major barrier to full electric cars remains battery range, battery technology. There's a new uh, Chevrolet uh, electric vehicle being demonstrated here that hasn't been rated yet, but supposedly will go well over 100 miles an hour on us, or 100 miles rather, <laughs> not 100 miles an hour. I don't think they want you going that fast <laughs> on a single charge. Are some of the barriers coming down? Because of course, cost was an issue with some of the hybrids. Uh, considerably more money doesn't always make up for the, the savings in gasoline. Um, the infrastructure, it's not always easy to find some place to plug in your vehicle or to, to right. get that hybrid gasoline if, if you're looking at uh, a different kind of fuel. Um, is some of that going away? Is it becoming easier to own a hybrid or an electric vehicle? There remain some barriers to ownership, chief of which is the price of gasoline right now. When uh, in 2008 the price of gas went up to four and a quarter a gallon really quickly, I think it got everybody's attention and people started looking more at mileage. Now that we've drifted down to around three bucks a gallon, it's less urgent than it used to be. But you do see people, you know, gas mileage is now the number one, uh, you know, concern of car buyers. Hmm. So. so now let's talk about the fun stuff, the okay. infotainment, all the cool gadgets that right. are, are becoming more prevalent in our vehicles, not just in the luxury brands, um, but everywhere. I know the one that really caught my eye, you called it the uh, the Wi-Fi cloud, which I couldn't even tell you what that is, but I assume that means you can get Wi-Fi in your vehicle wherever you are? Right, that's the uh, North American truck of the year, the uh, Ram 1500. Uh, there's a built-in cell phone in that vehicle, and what that means is that it uses that cell phone to give you internet connectivity in the cloud. Now that's designed because it's a work truck, it's designed for contractors who want to be able to give quotes, uh, do invoicing, that kind of thing uh, on their computer while they're at work in I their car. I want to check my Facebook on my way up north. I would imagine that would be hugely popular for families as well, where you'll have more and more vehicles that there are their own Wi-Fi hotspots, and you're starting to see some of that now. The other big thing in, in uh, car interiors with high tech is more and more use of video screens instead of a traditional dashboard or instrument panel. Uh, virtually every car you see here at all but the most basic trim level will have at least one video screen in it, giving you just a wealth of information about the car itself and giving you, you know, every option available for entertainment. Um, obviously the big issue there is driver distraction, uh, but there are, uh, you know, ways to make the technology work to sort of you know, cut out certain functions when the car's moving. Well, I, I'm hoping that the automakers are thinking about safety along with their cool oh, sure. new gadgets. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was Matt Rausch, the editor for the WWJ Technology Report.